By now, pay late services are still unregulated in the UK and they've got a bit of a reputation for being a wild west. So the question is, does Clearpay live up to its name or does it in fact muddy the waters of your personal finances? So Clearpay is the little sister of the Aussie Buy Now Pay Later service Afterpay. If you've never used one of these services, a Buy Now Pay Later plan basically allows you to buy stuff at selected retailers and then pay for all or some of your purchase at a later date. And you have to be at least 18 years old to use one of these services. Some buy now pay later services like Klarna, they offer several different ways for you to pay for your purchase at the checkout, but Clearpay has just got one payment plan option which lets you split your purchase into four equal installments. So how does that all work? Well, the first installment is taken at checkout and then the next three payments are taken automatically every two weeks for the next six weeks. When you set up your Clearpay account, you'll need to add a payment method and it's from this account that your payments will automatically be taken. Clearpay is gonna send you notifications before your payments are due, so all you need to do is make sure you have enough money in the account you've linked. You can use Clearpay at selected retailers both in-store and online. To use the service, you basically need to create a Clearpay account, link a payment method, as I mentioned, and then select Clearpay as your payment method at checkout if it's available. The amount of money you'll be allowed to spend using Clearpay will be limited based on your repayment history with them. So make sure that you make your repayments on time to build up that good record with them. Unlike some other buy now, pay later plans, which let you defer the entire cost of the purchase to a later date, with Clearpay, you have to pay a quarter of the cost of your purchase at checkout. So that's worth bearing in mind if you're thinking about using this service. Overall, I think buy now, pay later services do have a bit of a bad reputation for encouraging people to just shop, shop, shop and hedge their bets that they'll figure out how to pay for it later down the line. So Whatever buy now, pay later service you go for, you need to make sure you can afford the repayments on your shopping. Some providers will charge late fees for missed payments, as is the case for Clearpay, and consistently missing payments could result in bigger consequences than late fees. So this next bit gets into a bit of the nitty gritty on credit checks, and it feels boring, but it's really, really important. Basically, Clearpay will run a soft credit check when you sign up for account. Now this won't appear on your credit report, so it's not gonna affect your credit score. However, if you start missing repayments, Clearpay could report this to a credit reference agency. The big ones in the UK are Equifax, Experian and TransUnion, and this would likely be recorded in your credit report and therefore could negatively impact your credit score. In practice, Clearpay is free to use as long as you make all of your repayments on time and it doesn't charge any interest for splitting your purchases over four installments. But as I mentioned, you will be charged a late fee of six quid if you miss a payment. And if you've still not made your repayment in a further seven days, Clearpay will charge another six pounds and so on up to a total of 24 pounds or 25% of the order, whichever is the lower amount. If your order is less than 24 quid, your late fees will be capped at six pounds. That cap on fees to me makes the whole missing payment thing feel very non-eventful. The hypothetical scammer in me is like, say I spend a load of money, like hundreds of pounds. Well, I'm just gonna take the hit of paying 24 quid rather than actually pay back the money. But it's so important to understand that even though the fee cap feels low, what happens after that could potentially seriously damage your future ability to borrow money. So as I said, if you continue to miss your repayments, Clearpay could report you to a credit reference agency or debt collection agency. This could then leave a black mark on your credit report, which could lower your credit score and even make it harder for you to get credit in the future. So what does that actually look like? Well. If your credit score is particularly low and you went to apply for a credit card or even a mortgage, you could be offered a very high interest rate or completely denied the credit product altogether. In its FAQs, Clearpay lays out all of its late fees, well, very clearly, and it even links out to where you can get help if you no longer can afford your repayments. That said, it's not a smooth one click from this page to the bit you need. 
you click through and then you still have to scan through another menu first and then you can click help with your payments or hardship fund before you get to the contact form to actually ask for help. More troubling was when I typed a load of variations of does clear pay affect my credit score into the FAQ bar and I tried everything credit score, hard credit check, credit check, like everything I could think of. The only mention of credit score that I found was on a page about having your order declined where they just say right at the bottom that they don't do hard credit checks and so they might be strict at approving orders until you've built a repayment history with them. Kind of feels quite sus. Clearpay does have a disclaimer on its website on the home page and subsequent pages that you click through which details the late fees and says missed payments may affect your ability to use Clearpay in the future and your details may be passed on to a debt collection agency working on Clearpay's behalf. So yeah, it again mentions passing debts off to a debt collection agency in the T's and C's, but nothing about how this will actually affect your credit score. And if your missed repayments have reached debt collection agency status, chances are this will negatively affect your credit score. I think this information needs to be much, much more visible in Clearpay's FAQs. This is the natural place people go to find out that stuff. That's automatically where I went to search for any information they had about credit checks. I also think they should include more context for what that actually means. For example, if you're getting to a place where debt collection agents need to be involved, this is likely to lower your score. According to Experian, these kind of collections they can stay on your credit report for as long as seven years. So this could really impact whether you're able to borrow money in the future. Klarna is one of Clearpay's biggest competitors in the UK and offers multiple payment plan options, including pay in 30 days, three interest-free installments, and a financing option, which is kind of similar to a credit card that will require a hard credit check and will charge interest. In 2023, Klarna introduced a five pound late fee. So if you don't make a payment within seven days of your due date, you'll be charged that five pound fee. Layby lets you divide your purchases across six weekly installments with no interest fees. Pay later, spelled absolutely horrifically, like Klarna has three payment options ranging from pay in 30 days to splitting your payments across X amount of months with interest charges after three months, or even spreading the cost of your purchase over two years. When thinking about the right payment plan for you, you really need to consider two things. The first is your cash flow. So that's thinking about when you get paid or when you're next gonna have an influx of cash. If you get paid monthly like I do, something with two week installments like Clearpay might not actually be that useful to you. The second thing you wanna think about is what you need the buy now, pay later plan for. For example, a lot of people use them to try before you buy, in which case something like pay in 30 could be a helpful option. So in that case, you can order a bunch of stuff, you can try it on return the stuff you want within the month and then in 30 days you should have a new updated bill in your buy now pay later account that's just got the stuff you want to keep. Another option if you're not particularly sold on these buy now pay later services would be to use a credit card. Monzo Flex is an interesting product from Monzo. It's kind of like a hybrid between a buy now pay later service and a credit card, although it is officially a credit card. Basically Monzo Flex allows you to split your purchase across three months and it won't charge you any interest and this is an ongoing thing that you can use over and over again unlike with some other credit cards that have interest-free deals but they're only for an introductory time. Amex recently introduced its planet feature which lets you split a purchase over £100 across three six or 12 installments and instead of paying interest on carrying that balance over each month you'll be charged a monthly fee instead. So those might be good options. The added benefit of using a credit card over these buy now pay later services is that you'll get purchase protection on items between 100 and 30,000 pounds. So what that means is if something goes wrong with the vendor or your order, your credit card company will help to try and get some of that money back. Plus, if you use a credit card responsibly, making your payments on time and in full each month, you can potentially boost your credit score. The same can't be said for buy now pay later plan, which can only potentially damage your credit score if you're not paying stuff off responsibly. Clearpay lets you split a purchase over four equal interest-free installments, taking the first payment at checkout and the remaining ones every two weeks after that for six weeks. 
Personally, I'm not convinced by these weekly or fortnightly payment plan options. I get paid monthly, so with only two weeks in between repayments with ClearPay, I'm potentially not gonna have any more cash in my bank account in the next two weeks than I would have today. This payment plan could be more geared towards people who do get paid weekly or even fortnightly. Otherwise, breaking your purchase into two week installments isn't helpful at all. It really just gives you the illusion of spending less money, you know, buying a 40 quid jumper in four 10 pound installments just feels cheaper, you know? And I think that's quite a dangerous incentive to get people to just spend, spend, spend. An illusion from a company called ClearPay is not sitting right with me, especially when you consider that the majority of people on weekly or fortnightly contracts are more likely to be students or low income workers, and they may have more vulnerable financial situations. Ultimately, ClearPay could be a useful product for spreading your repayments if you do get paid weekly or fortnightly. I wouldn't use this plan to try before you buy as once you factor in a few weeks for the returns process, you'll likely have paid maybe two or three installments already. The try before you buy thing is pretty risky, whatever buy now pay later scheme you do use. Say you buy a load of stuff with intention to return like 90% of it and keep maybe one outfit for a friend's birthday. Your whole shop's 500 quid, which you cannot afford, but one outfit, say you're gonna spend 50 quid, you can definitely afford that. So your shopping arrives, you pick your outfits, um, you send 90% of the stuff back, and then something goes wrong with the return. In that scenario, you could be on the hook for the full 500 quid. Now, it's unlikely to happen all the time, but just to say, fair warning, it does happen. So you do need to be prepared to assume those costs if something does go wrong. ClearPay only offers one type of payment plan, unlike Klarna or PayLater that offer three. So it feels like it's offering you flexibility when it's definitely not compared to other providers. I was also very disappointed by ClearPay's lack of transparency around how missed payments can affect your credit score. So they mentioned debt collection agencies, but not what this actually means for people. This information, 100%, it needs to be front and center in the FAQs, not just the disclaimer, so that people can make really, really informed decisions on whether to use this service. Like with a credit card, you shouldn't make any purchases with a buy now, pay later plan that you actually can't afford to pay back. And I really do worry that the low cap on late fees makes missing a few repayments a lot less serious, when in fact it could negatively impact your credit score, which could affect your future ability to borrow money. Imagine struggling to get a good rate on a credit card in the future, all because you bought a jumper that you couldn't really afford. Like, that's just not worth it. Thanks for watching our review of ClearPay. For more videos like this one, have a click around here and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.